Welcome back to BSPN and our wrap up of the Olympia. Today, we will be talking about the bikini division. And if you have not done so yet, please subscribe, comment, like, turn on notifications so you know when these videos go live. Thank you so much for your support. Without you, we couldn't make this happen. So let's get on to bikini. Okay, so bikini time. Um. <clears throat> So I had a few people ask me about this particular class and and how if I you know if I was scratching my head on callouts and things like that right like because they didn't understand what some um, of the callouts you know some people uh, were like well you know after the first call I didn't really understand what was going on blah 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 truth of the matter is there's like forty something girls on this list right <laughs> so once you get past a certain number of girls everybody starts looking the same. Nobody on this list looked bad. Nobody on this list looked, looked bad by any stretch of the imagination. Everybody looked phenomenal. But what I will say is that the first two call-outs of people, the top 15, the girls that actually placed, I felt like they brought to the stage their best version of themselves. That is the biggest deal when it comes to bikini. Where you see girls fall off in bikini, where you see them not place well in a big show like the Olympia, is when they don't bring the best version of them. That's when they end up getting into that third, fourth, and so on, and so forth down callouts, right? Okay, why didn't Jazzy place in the top 10 in Jordan? Ashley K looked better than ever. Her posing and walk improved dramatically. Her overall look was her best package yet. Yes, we're gonna get into all of that. So going on to what you're saying about Jazzy and Jordan. Um, I actually thought Jordan, this was one of her best looks. Love the pink suit on her. Um, love that. She needed to be a little bit tighter in her lower half. She tightened up a lot, a lot, a lot from, from Arnold. She did a great job on that, but she still needed to be a little bit tighter. Same thing with Jasmine. Jasmine needed to be tighter. Jasmine looked a little bit watery, watery. Um, and when that happens, that's when you get bumped down. Just that's, that's, that's the case. When you don't bring your best version of you, that's when you don't end up in those top callouts. The thing to be thankful about in these top two callouts is that if you look at the girls, every single one of them looks entirely different from everybody else. So there's not like one person that you can look at and be like, that's the look of bikini. Everybody had the look of bikini and the diversity was huge in those first 15 girls. The diversity was huge of looks. You had blondes, you had brunettes, you had white girls, you had Latin girls, you had Brazilian girls, you had black girls, you had every ethnicity up there. You had tall girls, you had short girls. You had every look possible in those top two call outs, in those top 15, which was phenomenal, right? That's a great thing, you guys. That's a great, great thing for this division. They all brought their best versions of themselves, right? Um, just a couple of posing or questions here. That's what I'm saying about Ashley's posing. That's the best I've ever seen it. Yes, we'll talk about Ashley in a second here too. Laura Lee really turned it around. Her glutes weren't as out of place as the rest of hers looked um, her best. Um, yeah, so and yeah, so going into all of that, I felt like the girls that were in the top 15, all, they did. They all looked their best. Now going through this, you can see Aaron Stern placed 15th. I initially had her in my top 10, but 15th is incredibly respectable, especially when she's almost 42 years old up against these 20 year olds. You know what I mean? That was amazing for her. Um, Jessica Wilson placed 11th. Again, another 40 year old. Jennifer Ronziti, she moved up. She placed seventh and she's 39. So that's that's a phenomenal thing, you guys. This, this shows the longevity of this sport. These girls can, can continue to compete years and years and years and years right Daraja should have been fifth less ribbed than Issa I disagree Daraja was placed well um I was a little surprised by Issa's placing she looked identical to her Tampa Pro package she did not look identical to Tampa Pro she was softer and unbalanced um Daraja just needs to grow her glutes she has no pop to her glutes and she knows this this was her feedback she needs to grow glutes the rest of her is phenomenal Daraja looks amazing and she, this was a huge jump up for her from 14th Sixth is where she deserved to be. That is absolutely where she deserved to be. And she should not be upset by that at all. She's just gonna get better from here. This is only her second season as a pro. That was a phenomenal, phenomenal placing for her and look for her too. She just needs some more pop to her glutes. She just needs some more pop to her glutes. Issa, I believe they kind of made a strategical error 
kind of not, I don't know. Um, she kind of needed to do Tampa coming off of a sixth place finish at the Olympia last year. But by doing that, she was dieting for a long period of time. And because she was dieting for a long period of time, by the time she got here, she looked depleted. She looked very depleted. And while she looked that way at prejudging at the Arnold, she was able to fill out for finals. She could no longer do that here. When you look at photos, again, everybody looks softer in the photos, but she was soft. She had no real tie-ins from the back. Um, and she just looked really tentative in her posing. She didn't look confident. I think she knew she was, she was depleted. I think she knew that. Um, and that's where that came from. So it's unfortunate that she, that she had to do that because if she, I think if she'd waited to get on stage to the Arnold, she may have had a little bit more gas in the tank and end up looking good here at the, at the Olympia. Um, but I think she was appropriately placed. I think she was appropriately placed. Um, missed a lot of comments here. Hang on. Um, <clears throat> she's a little surprised. I was a little surprised, but Issa's placing. No, uh, she's phenomenal, but it makes it so hard for someone to get to, someone new to the sport. It's phenomenal, but it makes it so hard for someone new to the sport. Grateful for your commentary. Um, that right there gives me so much inspiration. It'll too long, no longevity. Yeah, she looked really great. Issa looked so flat from the back this time around. She sure did. I thought the judges said less ribs showing. Yes, congratulations to Raj. So proud of placement. Um, Aaron could not have looked more amazing. Love the fact that these ladies in their late 30s and early 40s are killing it. Yes, Issa looked like her rib cage was sticking out. Correct, she was depleted. Um, Aaron looks so awesome. Has a gorgeous look. Jiraja, congratulations to her. Yes, yeah, so, you know, as far as the rib cage, that's true as well. Issa was depleted. She was just, period, she was depleted. She needed she needed more fullness to her. She needed to be tighter um, all the way around. She just was over dieted at that point. Um, love your explanations. Makes so much more sense. Thank you for this. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, um, I hadn't, and, and let's go back to, um, a few of these. Other so one, let's go to top 10. So Lucia surprised me quite a bit. Lucia looked great. Um, placing top 10, top 10 there. Her posing was phenomenal. Her presence on stage was phenomenal. Um, she's the one that I mentioned. She had that kind of orangey hair at Powerhouse. She kind of fixed that. You could tell she put in some lighter blonde extensions. It was close. I still would have probably styled it just a little bit differently because it looked a little bit jagged. However, she pulled it off. She pulled it off. Um, I was really impressed with her package here. She probably had the biggest glutes in the top 10, to be honest with you, so she's gonna have to still tone it down a little, but she played that really, really well. Played that really, really well. Her posing was amazing. Like hands down probably the best pose around that stage that day when it came to confidence um yes congratulations to raja too yep um let's see uh lauren dannon miller looked great she placed pretty much where i thought she was going to um she looked exactly how i thought she was gonna look that kind of thing she looked great she did a great job she, and placing ninth in your first olympia is amazing um romina romina is one that i kind of had her teetering on my top 10 i didn't put her in my top 10 i should have <laughs> romina looks great um she that was pretty much right there you know i i i should have put her in my top 10 i should have i should have she deserved it um jennifer ronziti was a big surprise to me because she had dropped out of the 10 last year top 10 last year but she looked really really good at this show she looked fresh um, she still needs to work on her posing a bit, but it was better. It was definitely better and her glutes looked great. She looked really, really good. Um, missing a lot of comments here. Lauren looked amazing. Yes. Um, where is she? Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. It's bottom. So saw that too. I wasn't paying attention to be honest with you on that. Um, I didn't see that. I'll have to go back and look. Um, Lauren was glowing. She was, she was, she looked great. Um, Again, going back to Deiraja, I thought this was a phenomenal package for Deiraja. If she grows a little bit more pop into her glutes, she is going to be up in the top five next year. Um, Issa, Issa's got to do something. I think I feel like maybe Issa's just got to take a year off. Uh, she's not getting any better, so I think maybe she just takes some time off and lets her body recoup a little bit. Uh, that might be the best thing for her so that she can actually come back and, and get back up into the higher placings here in the top five, right? Um, Maureen, who called Maureen up in that top five, top four, potentially even as high as three? That would be me. <laughs> I told you guys, I told you. Um, Maureen looked phenomenal. I can see Maureen taking this title in a couple of years. I can see her taking it. Um, I think just because she, it was like her first Olympia, like she, not her first Olympia, it was her second Olympia, but she missed last year. Um, I think that's the only reason why she wasn't compared up in these top three. 
I think when it comes to, oh, she did have a little bit of rib cage showing. I will say that too, because I noticed that. She's got to fix that a little bit on her front pose. Uh, she had too much rib cage. Again, another one that was dieting for a while. So she may need to just come in a little bit fresher next time or get bumped up a little bit higher. Uh, that was the only thing I could see that was kind of a knock on her, but she looked phenomenal. And I, I mean, I could see her taking this title in a couple of years. I absolutely could see that. Um, Maureen looked amazing. Yes, she did. Yes, I did. Yes. Like that actually represent a more athletic look and that being sexy on stage, thought her posing can be. Maureen looked amazing. Yes, Maureen. She's always slays it. She's beautiful. I'd love to see Maureen take it. I love, love, love her and her look. Yes, I called Maureen too. Prefer her purple bikini though. No, I like the red. I absolutely like the red. Um, no, this is a great look for her. And again, I think it was just the only thing I, the only thing I would work on with her is that rib cage situation. That's really about it. And I could see her moving up really, really fast. Um, I'm learning about you and definitely know what you're talking about. Yes. Um, so yeah, she looked great. I was really, really happy with that. Um, third place, Ashley Kaltwasser. Okay. Let's get into Ashley now. I was really impressed with this package. Um, after what I saw at the Arnold, I didn't think there was any way she could turn that around. Like, I really didn't. So if you saw my stories, I said I will be the first one to admit when I'm wrong, and I was wrong here. This was probably the best Ashley I've seen in a while. She still needs to work on her posing, but it was a lot better. Her walk was a lot better. Her transitions were a lot better. Uh, she had the shortest routine on that stage. I know because I recorded all of them, and hers was under a minute. <laughs> She had the shortest routine on that stage, which was smart. She knows that's her weakness, so she got off the stage before she could screw it up, which was great. I thought that was a really smart move on her part. Um, this is probably the best I've seen her look from the front. Typically, I think she wins shows from the back and loses them from the front. So she did a really good job of her front pose this particular time. Shoulders still need a little bit of work. Still need a little bit of work, but this was a much better look of hers than we saw just two weeks ago at the Arnold. I don't know what she did in between those two weeks, but whatever it was, it was the right thing. <laughs> oh, her walk is like a whole new woman. Yeah, it was so nice to see. Yeah, it's still very, it's still very tentative. She's not 100% confident yet, but it is so much better than what she was doing. It is so much better than what she was doing. So you can tell she's working on it. She's working on it. Um, let's see, Maureen and Issa are coached by the same team. Yes, they are. Um, the best she'd look in years, pal, but this is so crazy that her posing is less than still after all these years. I know, I know. I think Phoebe Hagen has helped Ashley with her posing. She did help her at one point. I don't know who's helping her now. I know Phoebe was helping her when Phoebe was here in the States, um, but now Phoebe's back in the UK, obviously, so, um, or Dubai, wherever she lives now. She just did the Arnold. Um, her shoulders are also tilted in her front pose. Yeah, she's, she's just got some things she still needs to work on. But again, this is a really, really good look for her. She's filled back out. Um, everything was popping like it needed to be. So kudos. I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta hand it when, when it's, when, you, when it's there, you know? Um, she looked less muscular. Her glutes and hamstrings didn't look as dominant as they usually do. I'd like to see more tab, more density in her midsection. No, I don't, I don't need any more density in her midsection. I think she just needs to fix her poses a little bit. Um, she, she can get those, those abs popping if she wants to, and they've told her not to do that. They've told her not to do that. They get to be too much. Um, she was definitely in third place, though. Um, I didn't think there was any way she was getting up there with, with Laura Lee and Jennifer. Um, she was definitely a solid third. Uh, Laura Lee and Jennifer were very, very close. This was the best Laura Lee I've seen in a very, very long time. Um, maybe even even better than when she played second at the Olympia the first time, right? Um, <clears throat> she filled out a little bit from Arnold, which helped her with her balance. Like we've said, she's had an issue with her glutes being overpowering, and then she had an issue with being too hard, and then all this stuff. So, you know, she got, she got that fine line balance finally uh, here at this show. Uh, it was the best look that she's put on stage. It was the best look she's put on stage. Um, one point crazy. I know Ashley has killer glutes, but she just doesn't have the fluid posing. Yes. Like we were talking about. Yeah. Um, so I, I personally had Laura, uh, Laura Lee in a solid second, uh, because again, like we talked about, and I made a post about this with Jennifer. Jennifer's body just flows 100% top to bottom. There's nothing that sticks out as overpowering at all. And it looks like an attainable physique. It looks like something that you or I can look at and be like, I can look like that. I can do that. When you look at Laura Lee, Laura Lee still has a little bit of that freak factor. And I say that in the nicest way. It's that factor of, I can't look like that, right? 
she's just genetically blessed. She's just genetically blessed. Me as a, as a peon can't look like that. That is the only negative that I have to say about Laura Lee. That's the only negative that I have to say about her is that she's genetically gifted, <laughs> you know? And every girl that comes into this sport wants to look at Miss Bikini Olympia and say, I could look like that. I could do that. I could be that, you know? And with Laura Lee, Laura Lee is just a freak of nature in the most amazing way possible. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's the only negative critique that I have against her. I think that she came in phenomenal. I think she's gorgeous. I think all of those things, I think she has a phenomenal physique, but when it comes to the person that has to represent this division, I think it needs to be somebody that come that, that a normal girl like you or I that are here on this, on this webcast right now could say, I could look like her. And that's Jennifer. And that's Jennifer. You could look at Jennifer and say, I could do that. And that's what you want as a representative for the division. That's what you want as a representative for the division. That's why I think Jennifer is the perfect choice for this particular title this year, because she has that. She has that factor of, I'm the girl next door. I'm the girl that you'd see in your local gym. I'm the girl that you want to attain to look like, want to be, you know, that is an attainable look. That is bikini, right? Um, Thought Laura Lee was a snitch thin. No, her ribs were quite visible below her collarbone. Laura Lee always has ribs showing. That's just part of it, of her thing. So no, she was not thin. Um, happy with top two. Honestly, Jennifer has a great look overall and it's so sad to be a tall competitor for Laura Lee. Yes, it's very difficult when you're tall. Um, I don't think she should have been marked down for being a freak of nature. Well, I don't think she was marked down, but my point being that being a freak of nature, and I say these things in the most, again, the most loving way, is not something, again, that a girl coming in off the street can look at and say, I can be like you. That is what bikini is supposed to be, right? Can you talk about glute fullness in bikini? What's too much? Um, it's, it's really highly dependent on the person, so there's no, like, cut and dry answer. Laura Lee reminded me of Janet's look last year. No, not really. Um, I think that, I think that um, Janet again, is also the same kind of look as Jennifer, where Janet's just the really pretty girl next door look. That's why she was so successful for so long. She's that girl that girls can look at and say, I want to be like her. I want to be like her, right? Do you think Janet had that last year because she definitely doesn't have an attainable physique? I do think Janet had that last year. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Janet does have an attainable physique. Janet looks the same when she's on stage and when she's off. She's look if you go back and you look at her her photos from when she first turned pro like a decade ago, she looks exactly the same. Exactly the same. She really does. She's looked like that forever. You know, and she does. She looks like the girl next door. That's why she's so popular. That's why she's so popular. Right? I've said this a thousand times. That is bikini. It's that look. Right? And that is why, in my opinion, Jennifer was the absolute correct call for this for this um, title. Would I like to see Laura Lee win it? Absolutely. She was my front runner last year. She was my front runner last year. I'd love to see Laura Lee win it. But when you got somebody that looks just as good as you, <laughs> that's it. That's what happens. Somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose. Right? Janet's so small for her height. Um, she's not really. She's not small. Nope. I agree, Janet's one of the few that looks the same all year round. She absolutely does. She absolutely does. And again, that's what you want, you know, like I'm not saying that you have to be stage lean all year round, so don't, you know, twist my words and think I'm saying that. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is that she is a representative of the sport and the division year round. Year round. That's just her. And she's been like that forever. She was a Hooters girl before she started all this, man. Like, that's what they are. Hooters, Hooters girls are your girls next door at the local bar. That's what they are. She was Miss Hooters International before she got into this. That's what Janet was, you know? So again, going back to the attainable look, right? Is Edela coming? No, Edela is not coming back. Edela is dating Tyler Mannion. She can't compete. <laughs> Period. She can't compete. Um, that's why you see her doing all the stuff backstage and things like that. She's done. 
Any other questions, you guys? Oh, I didn't really, I mean, Jen, again, going back to what we were just saying, Jennifer just top to bottom, she nailed it. She was tight, um, tighter than her Arnold look, which is what they asked for. Uh, so she did exactly what the judges asked her to do. Uh, and she just she just had that confidence that you need to have. She brought the confidence finally to the show that I feel like she didn't have even at the Arnold. I think her confidence at this show was um, was even better than the Arnold. She, she finally realized, oh, I can win this title. Oh, I can do this, right? What do you think about Ashlyn Little? I think Ashlyn just needed some more time. She, was, uh, she wasn't um, tight enough on her lower half and her posing was a little wonky. Um, she did get COVID, I think like three weeks ago or four weeks ago or something like that. And that really derailed her prep. So, uh, that was what kind of threw her off a little, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I think she said something like she wasn't able to lift or eat for like two weeks, which can really screw with an Olympia prep, you know? Do you think last year's top six was more competitive than this year's? Nope, definitely not. Jen looked great. She sure did. Absolutely. What do you think about Whitney versus Misty? Um, personally, I, I didn't see finals, so I can't talk about the routine round. Um, and the physique round, I had Misty winning. However, I was sitting next to a coach friend of mine who had Whitney winning because of conditioning. So I could understand you know, either, either side of the coin when you're talking about which physique was going to win that particular physique round. I personally had Misty winning the physique round because of her shape. Uh, but my coach friend next to me had Whitney winning because of her conditioning. So, um, and I didn't see routines, so I can't comment on the routines. And the routines are two thirds of the score, so I can't comment on the routines. Um, any other questions? I agree with that. Whitney's glutes were tighter. They sure were. They sure were. Yep. Mm-hmm. I must have missed it. Did you talk about what happened to Aaron Stern? I did. I love Missy's look. Yes, me too. Absolutely. Any other questions, guys? We're getting close to our one hour mark here, so I wanna make sure if you have any questions, you get them in there before we uh, cut it off so that I don't lose the whole feed. <laughs> if I don't cut it off, then we will, and I need all of this for YouTube. <laughs> As we're sitting here waiting to see any other uh, questions come in, like I said, our YouTube channel is in our link tree bio link, right? Click on that, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm going to take this, I'm going to edit it, um, hopefully get it up tomorrow, but uh, don't count on that because this is a long one. So I'm going to have to put a lot of pictures and videos together with it. I'm a cutie, LOL. We got you talking a mile a minute tonight. Yes. <laughs> so much content here. Yes. Thank you. Is it, tr uh, is it true next year's Olympia will be in December? Yes, it is true. Um, with the judges' scorecards, Jen scored eight, Laura Lee nine, and Ashley 11. Does that mean one judge had Ashley in first? Does not mean that because the high and low scores are dropped, and I don't know how many judges actually scored. Um, thank you, Sean. You're welcome. Great commentary as always. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, um, when it comes to scoring, I can't, I, I can't break it down that much because, again, I don't know how many scores initially were there. Um, and, again, the high and the lows do get thrown out. So... Not sure how it was broken down. Back in Vegas next year. Yep, back in Vegas next year. Do you think the criteria changed at all from last year or there, are they rewarding the same physique? The criteria did not change. Um, the only thing that changed is that they really were hammering that whole posing thing and they don't want to see the big X frame in the pose, but they were doing that last year too. So that does not change criteria. That's just a strict posing criteria thing that they made very well known that they wanted to see. So. Um, anything else? Any other questions? Becky said there were seven judges initially. Okay. But yeah, again, highs and lows get dropped. So, you know, it could have, it could have worked out a half dozen different ways based on that. And they don't, they don't publish the individual scores for the judges. What's the difference between an X frame and an S crit frame? Go watch my, uh, review on the Arnold. Go watch it on my YouTube. I talked about it there. There you go. <laughs> Do you notice much of a difference between Jen this year and last year? Uh, just her posing, really. Uh, she was a little bit tighter this year than last year, I think, but not a huge difference. I mean, when you're number two in the world, don't change a whole lot, you know? She just changed her front pose a little bit. That was about it. That was about it. That was about all she changed. Um, the rest of it was, was pretty spot on, pretty spot on. Again, like that's the that's the whole thing. It's a game of it's a game of inches, not miles. You know what I mean? I probably make it when it's in Vegas. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's back in Vegas next year in December. So, 
This year was a shortened um, qualification year. Next year will be a lengthened qualification year for next year. Do you see Ashley ever winning the Olympia again? Um, I don't think so. I think that she's, I think that she's probably, this is, I, I would be very surprised if she can get higher than third. But you know what? She surprised me in the past. This, this particular Olympia was a surprise to me. So never say never. Never say never, man. That's it. Me too, Vegas. Yay, right? Jen's condition was through the roof this year. It showed. Yep, absolutely. She was tighter. She was she was better balanced this year. She was better balanced this year because of the conditioning. Yeah. Last year, she, her and Edela both uh, were a little off on their conditioning in the morning and then got tighter at night. Um, if they had come in a little bit tighter in the morning last year, I think it, would, it may have played out a little bit differently, maybe. Who knows? It may have played out the same way. But, uh, but yeah, Jennifer nailed her conditioning in the morning this time, which is what she needed to do. Toot toot, so your black dress, to your black dress you are. Thank you, thank you, appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for a great live. You're welcome, you're welcome. And with that, we are almost at the one hour mark, so I'm gonna cut it off so I don't lose this, all right? Have a great night, you guys. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you wanna work with me, suitsymposing.com is where you're gonna go, and this will get edited in the next day or so, and we'll get it up live for you on YouTube, okay? Have a great night, and we'll be back here again with more fun topics to come, okay? Good night, guys. Thanks again, guys, for joining us for BSPN and our Olympia wrap-up of the Bikini Division. And if you like what you hear, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so we can bring you more amazing content. And to thank you again so much for all your support. And we'll see you next time.